Okay, and here, here we have then this the core issue that why this my car consumes motor oil. And here is this piston, and there is this co connecting rod, and these things when I take my red screwdriver, that one first first, second and third third piston rings these are those issue, issues and the issue is now that these piston rings are stuck and stuck means that these piston rings don't, don't move this part they don't move now and this is bad situation because normally these piston rings must be lubricant and these piston rings should move really easily. And I have in here second piston, what is okay, that we can compare. And this is also similar piston, what that problem is. So, and in that piston we can see that when I take my fingers and I rotate first, this is this name is first compression ring and this is second compression ring and that one where is this holes in here this is this oil ring and all of those rings must move like in this is first ring it moves and then the second second ring is that one and it moves also now only second moves and then this oil ring it should move also and, and now when I move that, I can move also this oil ring, and this is good signal. And this is like an oil ring. And now when I rotate these oils, they move, and I can see that there is compression. And this means that these piston, pistons, piston rings, they are okay and workable. And because when I press this thing, this hole goes small and then when I take fingers out this automatically becomes bigger. This is the second test. And also in this second ring and it moves also and then how about then this oil ring and I compress that it also moves. Movement is smaller but <coughs> oil oil ring works also. <coughs> okay <coughs> and then Let's look at what is this my issue pistons piston rings workable and then when I start to move that first piston ring in that one in here it, it don't move and then how about then the second it is also totally stuck and how about then this old ring can I move those and it is also stuck and then when I try to press this inside there is this situation and it seems that now this my piston it is totally stuck and there is stuff in there okay <coughs> and that kind of piston makes two really bad things in our engine first one is of course that when this oil ring is stuck that this my cars car consume a huge amount of engine oil and then when these compression rings are stuck that means that my engine there is it is very lazy and very unpowerful engine because these two compression rings makes our car power level and if, if those gasket and these rings are totally stuck, there is no any, any power in my engine. And also maybe this my car, it don't start because this compression is so low. And when we have low compression engines, all this important air compression goes through in here. And then our car don't start maybe. But let's compare that good one 
and in here those springs they are movable and <coughs> also when I we look in that position we can see that in here those small piston rings are in these holes and they are not in out but when we compare that good one they are movable. Okay and then how we can how we can get our piston rings in that kind of status. It is really easy. And the thing is that if we don't change and replace our car engines, motor and engine oils regularly, and we drive very long time and many years in same engine oils, then we have that kind of piston rings. But if we do right that we use a high quality engine oil for this mobile one is recommendation and then we replace this mobile one in every 10,000 kilometers or 10,000 miles and we have so lubricant piston rings and the key idea is that we need high quality engine oil like mobile one and then uh, this regularly oil replace Okay, and that was this information, and thank you for watching this video.